In this video lesson, we're going to use the Reason 11 rack and specifically the combinator feature to build a sweep machine or a whoosh machine. So let's see what we've got in the track here. I'm using Boom that comes with Pro Tools. So you can hear I've got kind of the beat one for two bars. And that's going to transition to the full beat. There we go with the kick drum and everything. Right here you can see I've got a note in this Reason Rack track, and the track is still grayed out because I don't have Reason in there yet. But that's going to be a kind of a, a noise sweep that's going to sweep as we get ready to get into the, uh, the, the drum beat where the kick drum comes in. So let me go to Inserts here, Multi-Channel Plug, Instrument, and Reason Rack. And let's get started, okay? So I'm going to use the Combinator here. Combinator is kind of a rack within a rack. I've used it to create a lot of little custom patches for myself, or custom synth within a synth, within a synth patches, if you want to think of it that way. But it's really neat. Um, I'm going to go to Utilities. I'm going to go to Combinator. And the nice thing about the Combinator, I can build kind of a rack within a rack and then just drag this into any one of my projects. I'm going to save it as my own specialized uh, instrument here. And here I'm going to create a, a whoosh machine. Okay, so first go back to Utilities. I'm going to drag a line mixer into here, right there. You can see the orange line right below the, right above the dark area there. Good. Okay. And now I'm going to go to instruments, and first I'm just going to drag in one subtractor. Good. Okay. Let's make sure we've got audio, so let me go ahead and... Okay. Let's play our track. Okay, so what we want to do where you heard that note here, right there, we're going to change that to white noise and use the filter to use the filter. We're going to open up the filter as that note plays to kind of create a whooshing or a sweeping effect. Okay, so let's go ahead and I'm going to change the patch to reset device. Good. Set my mix all the way to the right. Turn on noise. Track is record enabled. Let's play a note. There's noise, okay? So now let me play the track. I'll hit spacebar. And what I'm going to do is... Oh, let me see. Let me, there we go. Okay, I'll get that out of the way. <clears throat> now what you'll see me do is I'm going to actually raise the filter cutoff point manually when we sweep across that note. So here we go. So that's what I want to do. But I want to automate that so I don't have to do it with my filter, with my mouse. Now, there'd be a number of ways I could do that. And we've kind of looked at some of those in the videos that are online in the channel. We can actually assign plugin automation to this specific, specific filter cutoff, and that would be one way to do it. But if we want to have more than one subtractor and have a bunch of sweeps going at the same time, that means we'd have to do it assign this for each one of the subtractors and have to draw the automation for each one. That'd just be a lot of work. What I want to do is I want to use the rotary feature here in the combinator to control the filter cutoff, not only for the filter in this subtractor, but a number of subtractors that I can have in this rack. And that's where I really, really like it. And I can use rotary 2 to control the resonance feature. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. All right. So right now I'm just going to go ahead and Put my filter all the way to the bottom. I'll leave the resonance there. And I'm going to go here and show programmer. Okay, good. Let's put rotary there and there. Good. All right, so let's, let's look at our devices. We've got the line mixer and subtractor one. And let's just call this whoosh one. Okay, good. All right, so I'm going to click on the whoosh one line right there. And now it shows here the modulation matrix routing, okay? So the device I'm routing is device whoosh1, and I'm using rotary1, so the source, that's this, rotary1 right there, okay, rotary1. I'm going to use that to target something in subtractor, okay? And I've got whoosh1 highlighted, that's the name of my subtractor here. So I'm going to go to target, pull down menu, yeah, and now I'm going to go to filter, and I'm going to do filter frequency. Okay, let me go ahead and turn rotary one. All right, that's great, cool. Now what I'm going to do, now that I've got that going, I'm going to go ahead here, and let's go ahead and automate rotary one for Pro Tools. Okay, so I'm going to right click, open plugin automation dialog, 
Rotary one, add. Good. Let me scoot this out of the way. Now let me go over here to Pro Tools. I'm going to go to my View menu in my Edit window. And right down at the bottom, there it is, FXA Reason Rack Plugin Combinator Rotary 1. Okay. Now what I'll do is I'm just going to use my grabber tool to put a point there. Pencil tool. Line tool. Okay, let's hear what we got. All right, let's take a look at that. Okay, now from here on, I can shape the sound if I want. Let's say I want it to ring a little bit instead of just cutting off, so I'll just increase my release on my amp envelope. Okay, I can change the filter type. Let's try bandpass. That's nice. Let's try high pass. Okay. So there's a lot of different things we can do and experiment with here. Let's try notch for the heck of it. See what happens. Wow, now that's a sweep. Okay, so let's just leave it at low pass for right now. Okay, and we'll just tack down that release stage on the envelope. A little bit more. <clears throat> All right, good. Let's leave it at that. Now, let's fatten that up a little, huh? Okay, so I'm just going to click on my subtractor. There, so you can see now it's got the blue border around it. I'm going to hold down my Option key, and just kind of like anything on a Mac, you just copy and drag, or just click and drag, and it'll make a copy of it. All right, so now I've got two, so I don't have to redo everything I did on the first subtractor. I'll just tab to the back, that to there, pan, and right. I'll select Whoosh Copy. Let me name that, name that Whoosh too. There we go. Return. There we go. So now we're programming Whoosh 2. And we're going to use Rotary 1 to control the same thing. Okay. So Rotary 1 target is going to be filter, filter frequency. Now let's pan those left and right. Check that out again. All right, cool. So now that we've got those pan, let's just add a little bit of effects to both those. And Click right down here in the blank area, and you can see I've got an orange line below there. So now the Reason Rack will know where I want to put the next thing. So I'm going to go to Effects, <coughs> Effects, and just grab a reverb and just drag it right down there. Now, with Reason, it, it automatically connects it for you like it, quote unquote, thinks you want it. Well, I don't want to do that. I don't want to run it as an insert. I want to run it as a send return. Okay, so I'm going to go reconnect that. Drag out of my send into the audio input of the reverb, back from the reverb to the return. Let's go ahead and bring up our auxiliary send a little bit there. And here we go. There we go. All right. And now that we've got that done, all we have to do is save our combinator and it will save everything in the combinator. If we wanted to get a little bit more, you know, have more fun with it, we can assign Rotary 2, and I'll go ahead and do that here. So let me click back on Whoosh 1, and I'm going to put for target Rotary 2, and for that I'm going to put Filter Resonance, okay? Same thing here for Whoosh 2, Rotary 2, Filter Resonance, there we go. Okay, 
All right, we got to assign it. So go ahead back up here. Come on. Click right click on rotary two. Open plug and automation dialog. Rotary two right there. Let's go ahead and add it. Oh, we don't want to add rotary one. Combinator rotary two. I guess I guess it's okay. So let's make sure it's there. There's rotary two. Good. And now go ahead and let's grab another here. So put that. We'll start that up and maybe sweep it down. Let's see how that sounds. Now let's undo that. That wasn't too cool. Let's try it again. too much let's go ahead and undo that and just just give it a touch okay right to about there that's about enough okay so a lot you can do here with the combinator programmer as far as using the rotary to assign the rotary device or the rotaries on the combinator to multiple things in your rack. So instead of having to do controllers or plug-in automation for each one of my subtractors here, I just do it once for each one of the rotaries in my combinator and then assign it to whatever I want to assign. And of course, I can have rotary one, I can also have it do filter resonances one. So I can have rotary one do just a whole bunch of things. It's really, really flexible that way. But here I wanted rotary one or the filter frequency and the filter resonance independent of each other. So anyway, a great way to kind of build a rack within a rack and custom patches for yourselves using, you know, a number of synthesizers and devices within reason and then creating your own kind of custom combinator that you can just bring in and out of your songs and different productions and things like that and then modify as you need them. So anyway, uh, give it a try. Hope you enjoy it.